breaking, breaking news. news. This weekend, Jack White played a pair of sold-out concerts at New York's legendary Radio City Music Hall. Unfortunately, fans who attended Saturday's concert will remember the show more for the offstage drama than the music. We spoke to Jack several hours before he took the stage on Saturday, and uh, he seemed to be in a good mood. He even spoke to us about how he never performs with a pre-planned set list. Every band I've been in, we always been the goal to try to get away from having a set list so that it, it really, there's no safety net on the stage. If you don't have a safety net on the stage and you don't know what you're going to do next, if you're playing like that, that's very, very dangerous. But if, you, if you're fine with that sort of danger, if it pushes you, it, and it pushes me, it pushes me to, to, to make the next move, it changes everything. You know, if you have a set list written on the ground and you know, okay, in three songs we're going to be done, your mindset's totally different than if you have no idea, maybe we're going to play seven more songs. It's a totally different mindset to live in. I'd rather live like that. That mindset may shed some light on what happened later that night. Jack left the stage after playing just 45 minutes with no encore. Fans stayed inside for half an hour cheering for Jack to return to the stage, but alas, eventually the house lights came back on and ushers told the audience to leave. How do you not do an encore, Jack? At this point, the crowd turned nasty, chanting curse words and tweeting up a storm. One of the more toned down tweets read, Wow, Jack White, I didn't know that level of diva existed. One hour show? Hashtag Jack White sucks. Hashtag Jack White. There's been several theories on why Jack ended the show early. Some say he was upset with the sound quality in the venue. Others, that he got into an argument with a shirtless man in the front row. Or White may have just been underwhelmed by the audience in general. He reportedly said at one point, Jesus Christ, am I at an NPR convention? I hear it goes down at NPR convention. One thing that we do know, however, based off of his earlier interview, is that he is ready to change his set at any time based off of how he's feeling. Things went much better Sunday night when Jack played a full 90-minute set, including four-song encore. He didn't mention the previous night's controversy, but he seemed to be in much better spirits, and everyone went home satisfied. Do you think Jack White was justified in cutting his show short? Does it make you any less of a fan? Leave a comment below. And subscribe. And like us. When was the last time you were at an NPR convention? I don't even remember it. That's how awesome it was.